Are surgical masks N95? Ah, uh, no, they are not. What is the difference? Well, the difference is, is pretty simple. Um, in fact, the material is very similar. The filtration is, is, is almost exactly the same, actually. But the difference is the seal. It's the fit and the seal. So uh, a surgical mask, obviously, when you're, you're wearing one, has you know, these kind of side areas. And even you know, some people have uh, air leaking in and out of the top or the bottom. Uh, an N95 mask doesn't allow that. Why would you need a perfect seal with an N95 that you don't need for a surgical mask? It depends on the circumstance, right? Um, in a situation where there's uh, the risk of being virally infected, you know, in a closed room with people who may have it, like if you're, for example, if your job is to give COVID tests, you should probably wear, you know, an N95 respirator. Got it. it just eliminates any chance of, of air coming in from, from any other place. Tell me about that fit test. It's, a, it's, a, it's an event. What they do is they put a tube into the mask and what it's doing is it's measuring how much air is getting, uh, staying uh, around your face and how much air and particulates are coming on the outside of your face. And what that's doing is it's teaching you how to take a, a just a kind of an off the shelf N95 respirator and uh, make it fit to your face. And if you've got a beard or any kind of facial hair, is it, is it sort of a waste? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, like, uh, these things are all like percentages, right? Like, I just look at the studies, and the studies show, like, when you, when you look at the actual, like, real-world data of, of people who have been, you know, closer than six feet, working all the time uh, with people who have had COVID, wearing a surgical mask, in most cases, is enough to protect you.